Hello guys, this is Vice. So today is Sunday, we'll do the current affair plums MCQ and today's episode number 70. I hope the most serious aspirants are already already there in the live chat and you have watched all the previous 69 episodes. We want to change the way uh, the results are coming out because we see many hardworking students, they study everything but uh, when it comes to MCQs, they are not able to solve it. Okay, So that is why uh, before the prelims and all, we are trying to uh, show you maximum questions, Okay, sample questions and if you are giving 23 application, the OTR form how to fill live demo and OBC non-creamy. All the doubts are cleared in these three videos. I recommend you to watch this. In WhatsApp, I have already sent the links also to this. And uh, if you're not there in my WhatsApp, please WhatsApp me. And if you want test series for 111 days to complete the full syllabus and have a chance in doubling your score in prelims, there is a package. You can enroll to that also. Okay, that also in the WhatsApp, I'll give you the details. If you're 24, 25, don't join any test series and coaching now. You have to build your foundation first. Uh, that is there in YouTube, but you can WhatsApp me again. I'll give you the links of the video in order. Okay, in both English and Hindi, it is there. Uh, English actually, not pure Hindi. Uh, everything will be, slides will be all in English only, but the teacher will talk in Hindi. Okay, so these are uh, different uh, teachers doing different subjects on various days of the week, including Sunday. We have kept it. There is no break since December 5. Every single day, 9 p.m., we are coming here live to teach you MCQs. Okay, so this is the WhatsApp number. Please uh, WhatsApp me at the bottom. You can see here in the uh, right bottom. This is the number. Okay. So question number one, this is based on October current affair, okay, October 2022, June, July, August, September, we already did and October, this is the second part, which of the following is not a member of Shanghai Corporation Organization SCO, okay. So here if you see, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, okay, four countries are given and asking which of the following is not a member, meaning three of them are members of Shanghai Corporation Organization. This is very important for you because India is also a member of it and it is always in the news because of various reasons. This year, I think uh, Varanasi city was also uh, some SEO cities of the year or something it was declared, okay. So either it is always in the news and you are expected to uh, study about this, okay. So here answer is A, Turkmenistan. You should understand that okay give me a minute so the countries okay Turkmenistan usually will not be part of any uh, groupings which you see same like in Europe if you see we have this uh, Switzerland like Switzerland is like one of the neutral countries that is why if you see most of the meetings will happen inside Switzerland in Davos or in Geneva and all because it's considered a neutral country it is not usually part of all the uh, groupings which happens there okay any military groupings or any economical groupings it usually will not be part of that same like in Asia Central Asia Turkmenistan usually stays out of most of the groups okay but Tajikistan Kyrgyzstan Kazakhstan is part of Shanghai cooperation and even India and Pakistan is there and why this is important is because 2023 Iran is going to join okay it already got the membership but it is not going to uh, immediately get that official thing okay it's now like an acceding member or an observer member who is given the permission to become a member so soon the after the paperwork and process is done in maybe the next meeting with which they have they will tell that Iran is the official member that is why it is important okay and India and Pakistan in 2017 joined it and before that we have these countries okay so this also first it was known as Shanghai 5 okay only five of this was there in the initial thing okay try to find out which are the five already i have done a lot of tricks and all how to buy hard this with a code a mnemonic code how to buy hard these countries but still you can go and research on this or watch my videos so this is very important the members of shanghai corporation can be asked in upsc 2023 or 24 definitely a question will come okay so here now uh, this is the thing a summit happened 2022 summit and it held in some held in samarkand a city in uzbekistan uh, on the ancient uh, trade route of silk road that connects china with the mediterranean so imagine okay when i read this just imagine china where it is mediterranean sea where it is so the ancient silk route is through that and there there is a city in uzbekistan so like that you have to pictureize that if it is serious aspirant means you will definitely know all these things the maps will be by heart for you but others maybe basically they don't even know where is kyrgyzstan where is tajikistan that is very very bad sign of an aspirant okay you should be by heart the world map should be by heart for you okay it doesn't it doesn't mean by heart all those tiny tiny islands and all you should know that general thing which continent which countries what are the famous capitals these things and all you should know okay so this is the first in-person summit since 2019 you know because of covid and all uh, it was all happening virtually so now in-person summit happened and now on the sidelines of BRICS also this is happening and meeting what happens is not important then here you have to know this rats okay rats is actually seos uh, kind of uh, uh, not a military thing you can call but a regional anti-terrorist structure okay where they discuss about these terrorism issues and all they have a group under within the CSO that is rats okay about which also UPC have not asked yet so there is a chance that question can come okay so Iran is expected to be formally admitted that is why this was important and as I told in 2023 they should ideally be part of it 
SEO is the world's largest regional grouping covering about 60% of the area of Eurasia, 40% of the global population and 30% of global GDP. So in case in mains a question comes of SEO, this can be an excellent opening line. Okay, this is how you start an answer and that itself makes the examiner understand that you are very well versed of the grouping. Okay, now question number two, which of the following are true about GEF small grants program? Okay, it was launched for the first time in 2002 at the Johannesburg summit. It works based on the principle thinking globally, acting locally. Grants under this initiative was sorry are given to local citizens from the civil society organization sector, including NGO. So options are one three only, two three only, two only, one two three. Okay, so here you have to uh, know each thing individually or uh, one trick to do these kind of questions. Okay, which are the following are true about any particular program, any grouping, anything all. Always 99% what UPSC will do is either they'll make a mistake in the year of launch, in the origin, in the uh, headquarters or that kind of things, right? Which is very static. That is the one which they can make mistake. Other things which are general, like it works on the principle of something or it is getting funds from like this. These are all will be generic statements. So that if you know, you can eliminate statement one and you can come to this conclusion that Two is definitely true. And then three is if you have, you have to read this. Grants under this initiative are given to the local citizens from CSO, civil society organization sector, including NGOs. Okay, so meaning grants are given. So that can be true and higher answers that only. Answer is two, three only. Okay. So here, if you see, this program was launched for the first time in 1992 in the Rio Summit. Okay, Rio Summit is a like first uh, uh, summit you can tell based uh, related to that uh, programs. Okay, so... Uh, 1992 was there then after 2002 johannesburg summit happened and 2012 again in rio it happened okay that's why it was called rio plus 20 that time so three summits are there which is in like parallel so again maybe it will happen after maybe this year or next year again something will happen related to that so it works on the uh, principle think globally acting locally okay global environment solution is what they target sustainable solutions it aims to create a balance between human requirements and environment imperatives through community participation grants under this initiative are given to local citizens from cso including this thing academic scientific institution everywhere okay funds are given grants are given so ministry of environment uh, okay ministry of environment forest and climate change undp and this uh, energy and resource institute have joined jointly launched the global environment facility small grants program this small grants program provides financial and technical assistance to projects focusing on conserving and restoring environment while also enhancing the lives of local communities. It marks the seventh operational phase of the program. The grants come under this program under this program are given to non-governmental organizations and other institutions working in specific landscapes. Aim of the project is to build local communities capacity to take collective action towards conserving the environment and achieving sustainable development. So, Overall, the purpose will be same only environment, sustainable development, taking collective action, community participation. That is all general things. And you should buy heart all these things also because it fits into any answer of UPSC. It means any answer if you write all these things right, you are a positive futuristic kind of candidate. So that is what they want also. So again, it focuses on northeast, central, uh, coastal area, all these things like how it works. Okay, in Hindu, an article was there. Question number three, Amrit Sarovar mission relates to what? Options are water conservation, milk production, medicine exports, urban forestry. Amrit Sarovar mission, water, milk, medicine, urban. So the kind of the name kind of fits with everything and UPSC will ask options like this only. So if you have not heard this, you may not be able to solve it. Well, there is a different Amrit scheme for medicine. There is an another AMRUT Amrit for urban related thing. And now milk and water also it can fit so here answer will be a water conservation it was launched by government on april 24 2022 to promote water conservation by developing and regenerating water bodies in all districts across india 50000 water bodies of the size of about an acre will be created overall mission is to expect to be completed by august 15 2023 so till that time meaning including 24 people who are preparing for upsc this will be in the news okay and you have to study so they are making or developing water bodies Uttar Pradesh has constructed the largest number of lakes under this mission and considered around 8,000 thing. So that is why it is in news. Okay. And then other top performers, if you see Madhya Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and within uh, Uttar Pradesh, Lakhimpur, Kheri was the top performer with construction of 256 servers. Okay. Then followed by this thing. This is minute level names. You don't have to buy heart, but you should know UP is overall constructed the largest one as of now. Which of the following are true about GymX? Okay. It's an exercise. 2022 marked the 10th edition of the Japan India Maritime Exercise that is GymX. 
the first edition was hosted by indian navy in the arabian sea so options are one only neither one or two both one and two two only so again i told you whenever upsc has to make a mistake the origin the numbers this is what they will make an error so here both the statements are like that right this is marking the 10th edition the number and here the first edition the origin okay so here actually both of them are wrong okay they are actually following a true so neither one or two are true so answer should be b okay so here if you see the 6th edition it is not 10th edition and the first one took place in japan in 2012 and not in india okay that is the thing which i asked you and remaining like latest 22 event like what all like lot of helicopters lot of planes so this thing ships warfare submarine all these things participated okay japan is represented by this helicopter carrier then one missile destroyer this and all i don't think upsc will ask you because it's japanese things but in india whatever was there that you can just go through okay in your mains also you can uh, use it and this is like india and this thing is in two phases harbor phase it is there and uh, aim is to improve interoperability between two countries this is all general thing okay any exercise you take this will be the same aim okay and it is part of a larger effort to improve safety and security of international shipping and trade in the indian ocean region last question for today lachin corridor was seen in news with respect to border clashes between india and china russia and ukraine iran and turkey Armenia and Azerbaijan so here if you see all these people are anyway fighting with each other so you should know this corridor particular was in news related to what so seeing by the name maybe you will think maybe ah, okay looks like india china but uh, here the answer will be armenia and azerbaijan okay so that war is a very big war is going on since like many years now so more than 100 armenian soldiers and 50 azerbaijani soldiers have been killed during the recent clashes at the border the two uh, former soviet republics you should know that ussr earlier which was there that only broke into around 22 countries and uh, that's how we have all these small small central asian countries and all these things now okay and they are again now fighting with each other okay so they are on the disputed nagorno karabakh region this is also upsc can ask that is the region where they are fighting okay so disputed territory has been internationally recognized as part of azerbaijan but it is currently under the control of armenia the recent clashes took place along the lachin corridor that links this armenia to this particular area nagorno karabakh region so go to the map in the world map and see these things okay now lachin corridor is part of the lachin district of azerbaijan but was under the control of russian peacekeeping forces as per the some agreement 2020 agreement which they had okay now it was returned under the control of azerbaijan on 22 recent clash is the deadlines to break out between armenia and this thing since the 2022 clash so this again oh, recent clash this thing this thing particular what they fight to each other okay how many missiles died um, how many missiles were there how many people died how many drones were launched it's not very important for you but here wherever you see place names or any countries being involved that things you have to note it down okay in a notepad or wherever you have to uh, note down okay see here on savan lake and all is mentioned so this and all upsc can maybe pick and ask so like that whatever is there see fact is given this is what a landlocked region in the south caucasus within the karbak mountain region it is currently under the control of unrecognized republic of this artsakh okay so this, this if you see this again relates to armenia or azerbaijan issue like that you should know then russia has traditionally supported armenia which host its military bases azerbaijan has close diplomatic ties with turkey in areas of defense culture and politics however the presence of oil in azerbaijan is forcing russia to develop closer ties with the country okay so here you should know this russia and usa have this uh, double game always they will uh, whoever like, suppose russia support one usa will go and support the opposite one okay but then they'll suddenly find that okay that other country has some oil or something and all then they will go and give their support there also so these people for their benefit will keep changing sides okay that is why india is people consider india as one of the future countries who should be uh, like a leader in diplomatic and all they don't want this usa russia fight which is going on because india maintains uh, good relation with everyone india like if suppose iran and saudi arabia is fighting with each other india has good relation with iran also india has good relation with saudi also if israel and palestine is fighting india has good relation with uh, israel also palestine also so even the enemy countries india knows to manage well okay that is why india is going to be the global leader in the coming years okay so now again as i told just by doing plums you will not clear prelims plums will give you the understanding of what type of questions to prepare but enrolling to a very good test series give you 10000s of questions like this with explanation and that will help you clear the prelims very very easily okay the faster you clear prelims you can get a chance to write mains and then with the mains maybe it will take one or two years depending on how you good you are in writing okay so that again you have you can join test series answer writing courses and all but first see to it that your prelims you are clearing for that we have this programs of current affairs and different different subjects please try to enroll and double your score in the upcoming prelims okay so again 2023 students watch these four videos that will change your way you are going to approach the exam and others can watch the foundation tomorrow we will come up with the next episode thank you and have a nice day